Hey guys, we're back. I have, uh, you, you, you might recognize HH. He's been on here a few times. Uh, we got something special to talk about with uh, your your flagship title there. Here comes Calico. Uh, looks like you got the graphic pulled up in the back, so I, I'll just hand it over to you and let you run with it. That's right. Happy New Year, Troy. want to wish you and yours a very happy New Year for 2022. Yeah, right back at you. Yeah, so we have this wonderful Kickstarter for Here Comes Calico, Issue 4. And it's coming to you, like all of our issues, no hold bars. We're not pulling uh, any punches here. So this is, uh, you know, if you liked, we talked about Issue 3, and that was a review. But uh, this is going to be a little little preview for Issue 4 because uh, you got another heavy hitter on the way. Yeah, it looks like it. In fact, let me uh, just share the tab here for your Kickstarter so you guys can go there is you know just go to Kickstarter and type in here comes Calico you're gonna find it right uh, it looks like you guys are at least a third of the way there uh, I right. started on the 28th you know you're only a couple days in and with right. the holidays I would expect it to be a little slower but right. uh, yeah I mean good start man first couple yep. days and you're a third of the way there at least absolutely best and, start uh, we've had. best start we've had we had a our, our last one was a poor one. Um, you know, this goes into a deeper issue, which we, we don't want to cover here, but some of these crowdfunding sites have become a, a bit political. And, and uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we got caught on, on the wrong side of this, which which is incredible to us because, you know, you know, who would want to do anything bad against the, you know, companies trying to fight against animal abuse through comics. But, you know, we don't, we don't get involved in, in politics at all. Yeah, we're not going to answer that. Right. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, you you can see there when I showed the the screen, you have a new. Uh, you know, it's up to now, it's just been Hector. You know, Calico uh, being the the main uh, force, uh, and there he hasn't really had a lot of opposition. Uh, looks like until now, man, on that cover, it looks like somebody's got Calico uh, Calico pinned down there. So, what can you what can you tell us about this? Well, he's a big, big guy. Uh, that guy, think about Calico. Calico's just under six feet. So he's by no means a small guy. He's a mid-sized guy, but, you know, he's, he's packed some muscle on him. This guy clearly stands to be at least seven or eight feet tall because he makes Calico look pretty small. And uh, he, he, uh, he has a, a little bit of a moonlight, uh, moon night look to him, but he's very far from that. He's, uh, he's a big, big, big dude. He's more Hulk than, than Moon Knight, that's for sure. So uh, uh, as you pointed out, the Calico has gone up against pretty much civilians who have mistreated or killed uh, animals. This is really the first time that he's going up against uh, a supervillain. And this guy is definitely, uh, he definitely fits the bill. He, he meets the criteria on, on every angle of the uh, supervillain, that's for sure. So I don't know if you meant to let that slip there. You, you called him a supervillain. Yes. So, uh, He's got some kind of powers or somebody, uh, somebody big backing him. Then I'm guessing, right? Something, something to that effect. Yes, I don't want to give too much, but yeah, he is a super villain. He's definitely, he definitely qualifies. So he's it got, is, he's got some serious uh, firepower going on with him. Is, uh, is he? I guess he's working for one of the entities we've already been introduced to, or is this another whole, uh, you know, group coming out of left field? We we don't want to go there yet. We don't we want to go there yet. But listen, you're you're right on. I mean, you're you're clearly someone, and this is again, it's a real treat to talk to someone who really is in depth in the series. And we get just like, like you are getting at, we get lots of inquiries on a regular basis from people who are steps ahead of us in the story, and they don't know how how exactly close they are. So, uh, but you know, it's a testament to the kind of true and genuine comic book fans that read our, our comics. You know, when we came out, I think uh, we've covered this before, that uh, people thought we were some kind of, you know, a PSA uh, comic book. Uh, they, they were going to get some kind of uh, Captain Planet kind of thing. Oh, let's go gung-ho, save the animals. And let me tell you, uh, well, you know already, uh, it's, it's far from it. This, this is uh, a serious, hardcore this is a hardcore comic book for hardcore comic book fans. And it just so happens that we're covering the topic of animal abuse with a hero who's very serious about it. Yeah, and, and like I said, you guys only have, a, well, 
you're saying it's only eight issues and you know, this is the halfway point. So, you, you know, you're going to have to start tying up some loose ends here soon, unless you're going to push that uh, past eight, uh, eight issues. Well, that's the goal, you know, with that. Well, it, it may not be uh, stated by uh, many a comic book creator, but that's it's implied. We, we definitely want to leverage this first volume to serve as the catapult and the launching board to something much bigger because we do have, as, as you point out, a very uh, substantive universe here that uh, has a lot of interest, frankly. And, uh, you know, we think we really have something here. And again, we credit you as being one of the first, if not the first uh, platform that uh, caught on early or caught it early on. I, I could see this actually working as a bunch of mini series, you know, you know, you, uh, little self-contained six to eight issue uh, stories, kind of like Dark Horse used to do with Star Wars, you know, just uh, instead of a long drawn out thing, tell your story, boom, move on to the next one type, uh, type of deal. Right. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to delve too deep, but I mean, are we going to see other heroes besides Hector? Can't go there. <laughs> Can't go there. But, but I can tell you that, um, you know, the suggestion that you have is a good one. Uh, the first volume is a miniseries, and it's called uh, Pinup Gallery. And, you know, Pinup Gallery because, um, you know, piece by piece, the Calico is crossing them off. You know, he's got a list. And uh, – He's already crossed a few out. In fact, I think it was an issue too. We we actually saw the pinup gallery up on the wall. Yeah. So uh, you know he has quite a few characters that are on his hit list, so to speak. And there's uh, there are a couple of pretty big ones coming, especially one who's uh, we could talk a little bit about this one. Uh, this one because I personally am greatly anticipating this issue. Uh, the CEO and really the heiress of a multi-billion-dollar uh, you know foods corporation that is involved in all sorts of just debauchery, animal, you know, debauchery. And, uh, you know, this one's going to be, this one's going to be for the animal rights people. They're going to love this one. Let me tell you. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. I, I, like I said, and we, I looked at the Kickstarter and, you know, a couple days in, you're already pretty well there. So I, I got to imagine it's going to get funded. Um, yeah. what, are, what are we looking at um, for it to actually hit the stands? Well, uh, usually we're, we hit stands uh, within a week or two uh, from printing. So we're pretty quick on that turnaround. So, uh, you know, there are uh, comic book shops all around the country who order from us, and they get their issues within two to three business days. I mean, uh, you, you're a, a shop owner yourself, and you know how quick we turn those issues around. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're pretty quick. Okay, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any secrets out of you. So uh, what can you, you know, fill us in on this Kickstarter. What are these guys going to get for backing this Kickstarter? Yeah, the Kickstarter is pretty great. Uh, so basically, uh, we start out with our first tier is hitting the goal. And it w because we always do, um, we're going to give everyone signed copies of Here Comes Calico, issue four. And we typically bundle stickers with that as well. So that's always a nice thing to do. You know, other uh, comic book uh, campaigns on Kickstarter tend to give stickers as a as a perk, as, as a, I'm sorry, as a reward for one of the perks. And we don't do that. Uh, we actually just give them out because we, we want to make sure that everybody is keyed in to uh, the series and everything um, it has. If you'd like, you could play one of those videos uh, or just a portion of them. So you can oh, see from the, one of the videos that are actually on the, uh, the Kickstarter yeah. page. Here? Yeah, yeah, you, can, that. you can click on the first one. I think you're on there as well. It's just a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want this one? Yeah. Hit that one. What you're saying is totally true. So right, right, right. how do people ingest? We're <laughs> hitting, we're hitting them with gut punches. Gut punches right <laughs> to the solar plexus. If they had this, this kind of storytelling at Marvel, they would be selling a hundred thousand copies. And I know that if more people heard about this Calico character, they would be buying his book and it would be flying on the shelves. It's from Sigma Comics. This is called Here Comes Calico. One by the name of the Calico. This is one that by the time I've done this video, I've actually picked up a physical copy of. I did talk, talk about, about this book. book. This, this company, Sigma, 
here comes Calico. A very unique book with a very compelling hero and a great story. I finished reading this yesterday, and hey. oh my god. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, issue one and two were great, but this one, it, it's like you just opened up the, that world so wide now. It's crazy. We're not going to be towing around. Calico does not take Right through. I like this premise. So this is, uh, I think this is kind of groundbreaking for yeah. comic books. But, uh, the whole scenario is something uh, that's never been addressed before. I've never seen anything like this in comics. So I think this is pretty cool. So it's really awesome. I wasn't expecting this to go quite the way it is. It's really awesome. It's safe to say that this guy has zero tolerance for violence. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
don't listen to anything I've said. Don't listen to anything you've hear you've heard here. Okay, because you you could say you could digest it as biased. Just click on that first video and watch it all the way through, and you're gonna hear actual comic book veterans, not guys who've read comic books for years, not just guys who've read comic books for decades, but guys who've read comic books for generations, okay? These are true, actual comic book experts and veterans, just like Troy, who have a fundamental understanding of the many histories of comic book characters. So if these people are giving you this recommendation, again, forget about what I'm telling you. Listen to them because they have collectively hundreds of years of comic book experience. Listen to them, and after you're done watching that complete video, there's nothing else I could say. Do what you got to do and back this project because we really need your help making this a success, and you're going to be a part of the success. Yeah, I mean, even if you guys don't like comic books, you don't have to get the comic book. You just donate the money. I mean, uh, or you can do it as a gift it's for you know right. some of your other animal lovers. Uh, you know, get four or five copies and, and send them to your, your animal lover friends because, you know, who doesn't love animals? And if they don't love animals, they don't need to be in your life. <laughs> it's a great, great point, Troy. It, it, you know, it makes a wonderful gift now that we're, you know, the holidays. And, you know, the, the holidays of Christmas really st uh, start at, uh, you know, Christmas and go all the way to January 6th was when, you know, the, the, the three kings came and, and uh, you know, brought the gifts to, uh, you know, the baby Jesus. So you could get a bunch of these, like Troy said, people who love animals are going to really love this comic book. Just make sure you're they're over 17 because the comic book is definitely not for kids. All right. It, it's pretty uh, uh, explicit, um, mostly with violence. So. Right. Uh, like I said, he doesn't pull punches. You know, he gets his the revenge for these animals. So, right. Yeah. I mean, go like he said, man. Go to Kickstarter. Type in either, you know, type in Sigma Comics, or I typed in Here Comes Calico, and it popped up. Yeah. Uh, really easy to find. Uh, you know, even if you just go give a dollar, man. Just anything's going to help these guys hit their goal because right. I, I want to see issue four. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Troy. You've been a, a great supporter of the Here Comes Calico series, and you know, uh, you support quality comics. You didn't start reading comic books yesterday. You know, you've been reading comics for a long time, and you're knee deep in, or, or elbow, or, or neck, knee, neck deep in comics, and you're someone who's dedicated to the craft. You know, you have a wonderful show here where you tell people about great comics, and you, you personally don't pull punches either. You know, it's not like you're you're coming on and trying to uh, sugarcoat things for people, you're going to bring in seriously good comics and you're going to talk about them. And that's what experience does, you know? So in your case, uh, you know, we're, we're in, in this case, we're fortunate that we have you as uh, someone who really recognizes high quality content in comics, good art, good reading, solid storyline, and just the uh, packs a punch. So thank you so much for your support. And once again, I want to wish you and your audience a wonderful holidays and a happy new year. We've got the goods with Here Comes Calico. Go on Kickstarter and support this thing. You are going to love it. Yes, definitely do it. They're not beholden to anybody corporate so they can tell the story they want to tell. Not watered down like he was saying. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be right in your face, man. So if you're, if you're not ready for that explicitness, <laughs> brace yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, lay guys, listen to Troy. He knows what he's talking about. Okay. If not, I just make it up on the fly. But in, no, but on this, I do know what I'm talking about. Uh, go to Kickstarter, back this with you know, even, like I said, even if it's just a buck, man, it, it gets them closer to the goal. Right. Um, let's get this thing funded and get issue four out here on the shelf so we can read it. Let's do it. We love you guys. Cool. All right. Thanks again, HH. You got it, Troy. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for having us on. Hey, no problem. I, I guess we'll see you again in issue five. Absolutely. Sounds like a plan. Actually, no, we'll see you for the review of issue four. How about that? Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. I got to tell you about how much I, what I think about this new villain. Super Good villain. Point. That's right. <laughs> see you soon, buddy. All right. Thanks, HH. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of class do you play, girl, in an RPG?